Well, it says reflection is the wonderful is a wonderful exercise. The other day when I came by here, the preacher was out here saw cutting this and getting ready to take it out and he he might got it all done. Yeah. That's a big rock right there. But it looks good. He wants it to be level and smooth for people. I did talk to him, so he did tell me that that's what he was building it for. His older people have to come in through the handicap. And so it, it had broken, had cracks in it, and he wanted to fix it. The wind is blowing pretty good, so I got to get into a modality of aiming the camera that way. <laughs> Um, and I asked him, did he, did he personally put that there? He said, no. So I didn't even ask him, what does it mean? But I know reflections, reflections, we reflect on our life. It is a wonderful exercise. Well, there's not, no exercising in reflecting, except reflecting how you can control your thoughts. And when you do mind training that's exercising but that's the true reality of mind training because there's a right way to think and a wrong way to think and so when we exercise our ability to use our free will to look at the world as it is now as look at the past as it was as we reflect it's our thinking about it Everybody else seen the past totally different. Your family members and people that you were around, they don't never remember the same thing that you would remember. And science has actually coined a phrase about remembering. It's, uh, it's always remembering a copy of a memory. And the more times you remember it, the more it fades like a copy of a copy fades so they're trying to understand older people coming in with uh, dementia and Alzheimer's and how memory really at the core root of it what is it so at least they're putting science to it and trying to figure out a way to explain a phenomenon that has eluded mankind from the beginning but the ones that can control other people's minds, they're the ones that know where memory is actually at. And they understand how when you lie to people, you can confuse them about the history, the, the facts, and you can control the masses that way. And that's what's happened. But when we exercise our ability to reason own these things, why would someone or some entities want to control the world? Then we realize that it is a lot of mind control out there. And then we know how powerful they are to be able to do the manipulation. I call them witches and sorcerers and black magic and perpetrators. These, these entities are controlled the money system since the beginning. So their money is not a question for them. And it's power. And this thing that they're building with AI is to soul trap us. No question about it. I'm going to do my damnedest not to get soul trapped again. I can't explain it in this one video, but I've got... Uh, at the buddyhuggins.com blog page the Buddha from Mississippi search that you'll see some videos I put up about AI I put up about uh, Wes Pendrose papers about his understanding of transhumanism and how they can soul trap a soul for eternity if they play the game of transhuman you're giving up your free will you're giving up your you're gaining what they want you to believe is eternal life 
it's, but they 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 know the truth. They know you already are eternal beings. So that's hence that's the game of how they control us. Now I said all that to get back to this exercising. Exercising is more than just exercising your mind and your thoughts. That's mind training. But to exercise your body is to actually come into unity with the cells and the DNA within you. And then you can actually become healthier and healthier, younger and younger. Absolutely the opposite of what the elites, the perpetrators of the illusion of this matrix, wants you to be. They want you to be sick. And they want you to be dependent upon the medical system to actually live and have your being. Which, I'm not saying don't take your medicines. I'm saying when you take your medicines, talk to your body about what is taking place within you and, and believe within your heart you can heal yourself and you will be healed. Practice that through exercising your ability to heal yourself through your thoughts. That's exercising. But there's a physical exercise that actually allows you to be able to become healthier. That means walking, running, swimming, riding your bike, doing yoga. Yoga is a really good way to start. I'll talk more about yoga next time. The preacher just pulled back up, so I got to go because I don't, I don't want him to feel bad about uh, me trying to ask him questions.